In order to draw a trumpet, I'm first going to start with a tall oval. So over here, I'm just going to create this sort of tall oval. That'll be the opening to our trumpet. And then from each of these ends, I'm going to go this way to the side and it's going to get progressively smaller. So I'm going to sort of curve it in this way. And this one's going to curve up the opposite way like this. And then I'm just going to continue the top line. So this top line is going to keep going straight over like this. And then right at the end, I'm going to put this small curved line. It's not straight. And then from there, we're going to have the mouthpiece. I'm just going to have it come up like this. And then connect these two with a curved line. And maybe another one right above. And then I'm going to continue on this line. I'm going to sort of create this almost paper clip looking shape. So from here, I'm going to go back towards the horn, the part that opens here. And then once I get to about here, I'm going to start curving it around like this. I'm going to curve it back towards the mouthpiece like this. And I'm going to stop. So right here, now I'm going to finish this piece. I'm going to draw another line right underneath. And then where it starts to curve, I'm going to curve right along with it. Now mine's a little bit crooked here, so I'm just going to fix that, make it a nicer line. There we go. And this is going to follow right along that line too. And then this is going to curve back, but it's going to go behind that sort of mouthpiece, that top part here. So I'm going to curve it back and it's going to go behind. This piece is going to come all the way around and then it's going to sort of disappear behind this. So we're not going to see that part anymore. And then whatever I have right here that doesn't attach, I'm just going to make it come back towards that right there. So that's the very first step. And all we're going to do is add our keys. So for our trumpet, we're just going to have these three ovals, one, two, three, that look like they're floating over top. And then each of those ovals is going to have a small line that comes down on either side, like this. And then I'm going to connect these two lines that come down with another curved line, just slightly curve it down. So that's going to give it the appearance of having more three dimensions. And then we're going to have these skinny lines, two skinny lines that come down right in the middle of each of those buttons and they connect to larger tubes. So I'm just going to make these larger rectangles underneath that go behind that. So there's one, two, three. And that's pretty much all there is to it. 